Hey everybody, Amy here with Garden Up, and today what I want to talk about on this edition of Weed Wednesday is this guy right here, which is called Shepherd's Purse. So Shepherd's Purse, or Capsella bursa pastoris, uh, is a little annual weed in Brassicaceae, which is the mustard family, and it has these little bitty bitty white flowers with four petals, which all of the mustards have four petals. Um, that's going to be hard to see on the camera, but just trust me, each of these little flowers has four petals. And then um, the flowers, of course, when they get pollinated, they turn into the seed pods, which are these. They, the seed, the flower head elongates, which is why these are so spread out, and they turn into the seed pods, which are these cute little heart-shaped seed pods. Now, to the Greeks who named it first, and they named it Capsella, they resembled small boxes, which I guess is caps in Greek. Um, so that's where that name came from. And then to the second people who named it, whoever they were, um, it looked like the purse of a shepherd, which is where Bursa Pastor came from, Bursa Pastoris. Um, and then here's another little fun fact. Uh, the seeds get sticky when they're wet and attract insects such as ants who then stick tight to the seed, die, and then they serve as a nutrient source for the developing seedlings. That got dark quick. <laughs> that was a fun little fact I read in one of my books that I did not know before today. So hey, we live and learn, learn something new every day, right? So there's the seeds inside the pod. Tiny little things. Um, but as far as removal from your garden, it's pretty easy. They don't have a deep tap root or anything. It's a real shallow tap root. Um, you just stick your hori hori or trowel or whatever in the ground and pull it up. Um, usually they have a more lobed rosette of leaves at the bottom than this particular variety. They start out as a little rosette and then they bolt all of this other growth up. This is what the leaves usually look like kind of lightly lobed, but not quite a compound leaf. So there you go, that is shepherd's purse. Here are some fine examples of mature shepherd's purse. It comes up from these rosettes of leaves and then it bolts this flower, the stalk of a flower, and then it turns into these heart-shaped seed pods. The leaves come in a lot of different shapes, but it's all essentially the same weed. It's a rosette of these deeply lobed leaves, but different shapes. They're always a little fuzzy. And then sometimes, as the plant matures, the rosette goes away. It just dies, I guess, when it goes to bolt and seed. I have some other ones in another part of my yard that I'm going to talk some more about. Here's an excellent specimen because it shows everything. You've got the rosette of leaves at the base. You've got the little flower clusters. This one even, you can see the four petals on each flower. And then it's just starting to elongate right here and only has one little seed pod. So that's got everything. That, that shows every part of this plant very well. And then right next to it we have a super spent one where the rosette is gone, the seed pods are all empty and spent and dry, and it's pretty much dying, dead and dying. So super easy to get rid of, just use your trowel or hori hori or shovel. and then pull it up out of the ground and get the root. The trick is getting it before it goes to seed. So here, coming back to the other side of the garden, it's just being watered. Here's what it looks like when it's gone to seed and it started to die, the leaves start to die back. These seed pods are all empty, so they have already spent all of their seeds. The original mother plant will die back 
and then all the babies will come up next year. So yay, more weeding for me next year because I didn't get on top of these soon enough. Surprise, surprise. Still, really easy to pull up. No big hairy deal here. Just pick them up, and throw them in your compost. Unless, of course, you don't want seeds in your compost, in which case throw it in your green bin or the garbage. So that's it for this edition of Weed Wednesday. Uh, next week, I'm thinking of tackling grasses. I've got a really nifty one right here and several others around, um, but we'll see what happens. All right, so if you like this video and learned something new, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. And on that note, I will see you in the garden. the rest right now. Hi, I'm in the middle of filming. This is not a gardening with kids video. <laughs> <laughs> not helping. <laughs> I am gonna tickle you.